Hi, it's me. It's just me today. I hope you're doing really well, staying safe, out of trouble, all that good stuff. Uh, me, I'm just sitting on the ground recording this in the middle of a very heavy rain. So if you can hear it, um, maybe it's just good ambiance. <laughs> Anyways, I just felt like saying hello as myself to celebrate a little milestone. As of recording this, Second Cup has 401 subscribers. <laughs> That's wild. Um, I did not expect this at all. And I wasn't planning to do anything like this. Uh, so much so that I actually don't know how to introduce myself. <laughs> Like, I don't even know what I want to be called on here yet. My name starts with G, but I don't want to be known by just a letter. So I have to think about this and get back to you. Or maybe you can think of something cool for me. Anyways, I have had a lot of fun making these last 20 something audios on this channel and have felt so much support and love since I started this in like April, I think of this year, but I'm really excited to be here and honestly, 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 just shocked that even one person subscribed, let alone 400 and one. <laughs> um, but I promise I don't care about having big numbers at all. Like I could stay at 400 forever or go down to four and I'd be happy, honestly. But the fact that I did reach this number feels significant to me, so I want to make sure that I let you know how appreciative I am of all of you being here, even if you're not subscribed. You know, I'm not expecting to get huge or blow up or whatever, but you know, in case I do, I want to outline my goals and set the tone and the foundation for my small little corner of the internet. And I wanted to do this as early as possible just to have it on the record um, and hold myself accountable because um, to be honest, I have been following some of the big conversations uh, going on in the ASMR community recently and I took a step back and had to really think about if I wanted to actually continue doing this. I'm gonna be real, I was really scared. I don't want to let down my listeners the same way that I felt let down by some of the channels that I follow. And the way that some of these big conversations were handled didn't sit well with me, and obviously didn't sit well with listeners. So I just thought, let me make it really clear what you can expect from me and what I can expect from you in my little online home. <laughs> so making this is helping me feel a lot better about continuing to create audios here because I really do love making audios and offering comfort and all that good stuff because I use ASMR for that same reason so being able to give back and contribute to this community just warms my little heart. <laughs> So, like I said, this is my online home. Welcome. You're my guest here. Uh, it's like I'm throwing a party at my house once a week <laughs> and you're invited. You can come alone, you can bring a friend, bring some food, I don't know. <laughs> you get where I'm going with this, right? So, my biggest priority is inclusivity. My audios are 99.9% .9 gender neutral, meaning I avoid using gendered pronouns or pet names. I say 99% because in two of them, I accidentally implied that the speaker was interested in a male character. Like I said, something like, oh, you thought I liked him, which kind of implies that the listener might also be male, even though there's no he, him pronouns in the audio, you know what I mean? So there were only two lines, I think, like that, and they were really small, but it was enough for me not to feel right to classify the audio as totally neutral or F for A. 
So I threw those two videos into an F for M playlist and I labeled and tagged them very vigorously so that you know um, it's F for M. But speaking of tags, I take them really seriously. I rely on trigger warnings myself, so I know how important they are, and I promise to always tag and protect you from any potentially triggering topics in my audios. It will always be very clear what you can expect here, and if I miss something, tell me please. And also know that I would never hide something triggering from you on purpose. Um, on that same note, please, please tell me if I mess up. Give me criticism if you feel I need it. I'm open to that. I'm hosting this party, right? <laughs> and I want you to have a good time. Uh, so if the chips are stale or the music is lame, you gotta tell me, okay? Um, also, if you see any bullying, racism, homophobia, transphobia, or body shaming in the comments, anything like that, please let me know. That is the kind of stuff that I will have no issues blocking and deleting from my online home, period. If we're going with the party analogy here, that's like a guest vandalizing my home <laughs> and I won't stand for it. I'm going to kick them out. They're uninvited to our wholesome rager. <laughs> and since I'm still considered a small channel at the moment, I don't have any moderators. I think I get a few comments every week, if that, and I've only gotten nice ones so far, so if you've ever left me a nice comment, um, thank you. But if this channel does get bigger to the point where I'm getting a lot more comments, I will definitely be getting moderators, and I'm not shy about letting you know that. Uh, I've seen creators who have almost 200,000 subscribers and the space is still unmoderated and that is a mess and a headache that I don't want to deal with here. But I've also seen channels who are much smaller and have an airtight like chef's kiss moderation team and that gives me a lot of hope. <laughs> but for now, it's just me checking the comments when I'm not at work. Something else that's really important to me is emphasizing the fact that ASMR and particularly ASMR boyfriend, girlfriend, partner role plays are not a replacement for therapy. Mental health is a part of your overall health. There's no denying that. And I see a lot of people commenting on big ASMR channels like who needs therapy when so-and-so just uploaded and like I get why that's a funny comment but therapy is really really helpful <laughs> and a licensed counselor will be able to develop skills with you to help you cope with like whatever is hurting you. They take time to hear you as a person and give you advice based on your own individual needs. But ASMR artists, we just pretend to be in love with you generically for like 10 minutes a week. You see what I'm saying? Like therapy is awesome. <laughs> I personally use BetterHelp and it's been so so good especially during the crazy year that we've had two years that we've had my gosh and this is not sponsored by the way but if they want to sponsor me listen I will accept and I will gladly promote them very much I also want to touch on parasocial relationships I know that it's a possibility because I see it on big channels every single day like you raise my standards so high, I'll never get a partner like you. If my future partner isn't like so and so, I don't want them, you know, stuff like that. Or just being overly attached to the character that's talking and not being able to separate them from the regular schmegular person who's just pretending on the other side. I'm here to let you know <laughs> that I am not the person in these audios. Although I do get inspired by past experiences, I elaborate the heck out of them and make them all have a kind of happy ending, even though, spoiler alert, most of them actually don't. <laughs> I call this project Second Cup because it's basically like a second chance, like I'm rewriting a lot of bad experiences that I had into better ones, like how ideally I wanted them to go. And ideal is the most important part of that sentence. <laughs> it's written to be perfect, which is not real, so yeah. That is the ideal girlfriend talking and not me. 
and I do want to create an open and fun community and have more chats like this where it's just me hanging out and us getting to know each other but just know that I am going to be very careful about forming close relationships with anyone listening just to protect us both and I just want to thank you in advance for understanding that decision and why it's so important. Switching gears a little bit, the thumbnail art will always be credited. The ones that are not are from Canva and unfortunately they don't share the artist info for their stock photos on there that I've seen but I could be wrong so please let me know if you know how to find that information but otherwise I use Unsplash and I will always credit the photographer. As a visual artist myself, I would be so mad if somebody used my art and didn't credit me, so I'm just doing what I wish people would do for me. <laughs> also, if you have a cool photo that you would like to submit for me to use as a thumbnail, I'm happy to consider it and credit you of course if I do use it. If you're thinking of submitting one, I try to use photos that don't have people in it so I don't break anyone's like fantasy of their ideal girlfriend, you know? Um, and on the subject of submissions, I'm also happy to read script submissions and credit you, of course, if I use them. However, <laughs> please don't take it personally if I don't record your script. I am an annoyingly picky person, and not even my scripts make the cut most of the time. I have also gotten a few requests to do like not safe for work audios and I was very flattered to get those but I'm not sure if I ever will make those kind of audios maybe in the very distant future who knows but it's not something I'm exploring right now I was thinking that like what if my not safe for work audios were just regular ones but I just don't censor myself swearing <laughs> I thought that would be funny, but I doubt anyone would want to like pay for that kind of audio. Um, so yeah, for now, just I'm going to be on YouTube. I think that's it. Just overall, I want to have a really fun and loving space where we can all find some comfort and happiness and yeah, all the good stuff. <laughs> I hope that I've made my expectations and goals really clear and that you feel safe with me in this small, small world that I'm creating for you. Please don't feel shy to ask any questions, either in the comments or by email or Twitter, uh, whatever works for you. I'm just really thankful that you're here and I will do my best to make this a great party for all of us. <laughs> okay, I'll talk to you soon. Bye!